Angeles. I don't love you, at least not yet, but I'm trying to love you. In an effort to do that, we welcome in Matt Money Smith, one of my faves, the voice of the Los Angeles Chargers and the host of Petros and Money on AM570 here in LA. You're a busy man, but you've got time to uh, kick it with me. Yes, I do. And uh, see that out there, the whitewash? That's what we're going to get you started in. Too many people, they charge the wave, yeah. they get their soft top, they get too deep, they hit the peak, and yeah. next thing you know, they're flipping over and they never want to see You didn't want me to wear this the entire show thought because you, you thought cook. I'd, I'd cook. Yes. Because it's a two, three, four? It's a three, two, full suit, and it's, uh, but look, you know what? That's your first lesson. Did I put the wetsuit on the right way? And I you think did. I did. You came out, the zipper was in the back. I don't think you're good. On a, I do, I'm just a TV professional, and I knew that two minutes and 30 seconds wouldn't be enough to get this bad boy on. So, on my body. All right, here's the deal. Power rankings, upsets this past weekend. Take me through what you got. Yeah, so let's get started with the top one through eight. Not much change here. You have the Bills, the Chiefs, and the Chargers. All of them, dominant offensive performance, dominant defensive performance. That's why they're the top three, even though they're all in the AFC. Ah. The Bucks were dominant defensively. Still a little bit of a question mark uh, in terms of the offense. <laughs> Packers, we don't move them down that much. They lost 38-3 to last year, and they had the best record in the NFC. So you're, you're the last, what happened last year, week one, to prove exactly. this <laughs> Don't freak out, All it's week right, one. Sure. And the Minnesota Vikings are up five, one of our biggest movers of the week in that top quadrant. We get to the uh, the second quadrant there, Kay. And well, you know what, let's just get into the Vikings because uh, they're up five. Justin Jefferson's a cheat code. He's just a straight cheat code. And we know it's an offensive league. And until someone proves they're gonna be able to sh slow him down, Kevin O'Connell there running that that uh, Kyle Shanahan offense. I we call know him an did. offensive minded king. That works for me. That's what he is. That's okay. a perfect way to end our great conversation great. on the uh, on the Vikings. To the second segment here, nine through sixteen, uh, okay. big movers. Look at the Dolphins there, up nine. Our biggest mover of the week. I doubted them, Kay. What was I thinking? Mike McDaniel. Mike McDaniel picked up where Brian Flores left off. The offense wasn't great. Yeah. The running attack, sub three yards per carry. Too a little shaky. A little bit shaky. But what did he do? He leaned on his defense. He yeah. kept it conservative, used his speed. The Bengals are down four. That offensive line gave up a 10% higher pressure rate than last year's average. I don't see the Steelers yet. You don't see the Steelers what? yet, but you're going to see <laughs> okay, them right now. Okay, let's see. As we shift to the, uh, to the third board, you will see the Steelers. This is the thing about Mike Tomlin, right? Mike. It is ridiculous what he does. We count him out. Mitch Trubisky is your quarterback. The offensive line's a mess. Now they're at 21. Why? They sacked Joe Burrow seven times. They picked him off four, and they still probably should have lost that game. They just beat the AFC champions, and you bumped him up two spots? I did, because they should have lost that game. It was a hurt long snapper that led to bad snaps, and yet the Bengals were in position to win that game. Steelers is fans are going to crush you. All right, are. well, let's go to the next page. The next Not page. The ne we'll yeah, there we go. As, oh, this is our uh, last page. There's your Bears. Look at them. They're up four. I had them at the 32 spot. They are now up to number 28. Talk to me. Well, it was a monsoon, so you don't want to put too much <laughs> stock into it. It was a real messy game. Now, what I did like about their performance was... Yeah. Matt Eberflus, he eased in Justin Fields. Hey, let's not get crazy. Yes, you're getting beat up by this defensive front, but we're not going to overreact. And by the end of the game, Justin Fields made plays. He made winning plays. And I think that goes a long way for a young quarterback's confidence with a new uh, coaching staff. This is staff. literally the most uncomfortable thing I've ever <laughs> It's choking me. Yes. What is the point of that? And then you have to get in the water and yes. peel it off of your body. And well, after awful. you get out. But awful. you know what? Like I said, the first, look, the first lesson is a wild success, Kay, because you put the wetsuit on the right way, the zipper's in the back. LA, You're good. here I come. You are great. Uh, talk to me about the Vikings. You have them over the Eagles. I don't know that I would do that. I think well, the Eagles were really impressive. Gritty win. What do you got? The defense let them down. The offense was exceptional. One of the best offensive performances we saw the week. Love what Nick Sirianna and Shane Steichen are doing with Jalen Hurts. However, defensively, they allowed the Lions to hang out. And I don't know how elite that Lions offense is. So when I think about that meeting, look, it's Vikings-Eagles. We yeah. get it. So we're going to get that head-to-head -head this week. So the biggest riser was the Dolphins, as yes. you said. The biggest faller was the, the Cowboys. Cowboys. Yeah, down 12. Look, Dak did not look great. I think the biggest issue is why are you trading Amari Cooper. He was on an affordable contract. He was their number one receiver. It allowed CD yep. to be the two, Gallup to be the three. Now all of those kind of shift. CD's got to be the one, Gallup's got to be the two, and it just doesn't look like it worked. It was four and a half yards per attempt. It was a mess. Riddle me this. How would a Jimmy G uh, acquisition change your Cowboys projection for next week? I, well, I think um, there's still the wide receiver issue, you know, and and I look, I don't think it's a, a Dak. I think Dak wasn't great, but we know he's the centerpiece. <laughs> I'm suffocating of, <laughs> 
in this. Well, well I said it when I, I came. Do, I was like, wait a minute. She got a full wrong? wetsuit. What did she do? Um, but you're, you're learning. You're learning how to move because you got to uh, paddle in that thing. You got to get used to the neoprene and um, at least. You're the, you're the voice of the, the cool shoes. Oh, thank you, my Aquabats Vans. Yes, uh, Orange County Punk Rock. We love Chris. I'm C Bat Commander, not Christian. Uh, Will you just make me cool? I'm completely out of uh, okay, I'm, fish I'm out of water. <laughs> I'm leaning on you to uh, to make me cool. Uh, Thursday Night Football, big one for you. Huge. Uh, look, the Chargers defense did what they spent $215 million to do, and that's dominate a game after letting games get away all yeah. last year. Khalil Mack was all business. He is no joke, and uh, he let everybody know that with three sacks, including the one that ended the game. Oh, my poor Bears. I am happy for him, though. Yes. He was awesome. Yeah. Um, um, I will ask you, Josh Palmer, I had as my Wayne Wire ad. So remember, Keenan was out last year for one game, Josh. Five catches on seven targets. There you go. See, gay, you're making me. All right, you're making let's, me uh, look cool. Let's uh, surf out into the. What do you want me? What do you want to teach me here? Okay. Um, let's do it like every week. Okay. Let's do a little surfing so, 101 lesson. So listen, we don't have to do I anything. I look like I'm at PacSun, and I'm trying to like <laughs> entice people and teenagers to come in. There you go. To the mall and like try Buy on a rash short guard, shorts. Get some board shorts. Some we're like not going to do wax. nothing mechanical today. Okay. Um, but what we're going to do is again, tip of the cap to you for putting the wetsuit on the right way. Uh, you bought the right wetsuit. A three-two can somebody be used year-round. Somebody make a cool wetsuit because like they're all just black. You just look like a seal out there waiting yeah. to be eaten. You got a nice pattern. I want to be a. I want to be a, a highlighter out there. You okay. look great Continue. with the uh, the flowers. Hey. So the other thing is, look behind it. Look in the uh, monitor here. See that? See that crashing wave behind us? Yeah. That's where you want to start. Too many beginners try to paddle out and they want to get into a wave and they want to catch a line and get in the pocket and they get dusted. We're not going to get up and surf? Go ahead. <laughs> no, well, here. I mean, well, then you got to get on your stomach and you got to cut out. Uh, yeah, so you got to get on your stomach. We'll be back after this. And you got to arch radio, your back. Boys. So get your back. Get your back. Dip it. Kate, get your hands here, right here. Right okay, here. good. And I then you do your burpee, right? Never then you kind of. You know what I was thinking of? What's that? I was like, let me make a bet with him, and then I'll, if when I lose, like, I'll go in the water. Done. And I thought it through, and I was like, absolutely not. No, you're going. Radio Boys for go. the LA Chargers. Matt Money Smith, uh, crush him with the power rankings. Good form. Look, I look good cool. Form. I look so cool. Bye. Bye.